Hi, we're here at the Quarry's Edge of North Table Mountain, Golden, Colorado, getting ready to do the Osteo Back Blast, which is part of the Pilates Mini Max Osteoporosis Series. This workout was specially designed for people with osteoporosis, but anyone can do this workout who's trying to have a more flexible and stronger spine. This workout will require you to have adequate neck strength in order to hold your head up. So if this is a problem for you, please do the Osteo Back Blast with head support, which is on this YouTube channel. So medical researchers have discovered that people who have stronger back muscles have less compression fractures as they age. And if you have stronger back muscles, you have less postural issues. So tummy time or lying on your stomach is not just for little babies, but for adults wanting to have stronger back muscles. However, lying flat on your stomach on a mat can be difficult if you have tightness in your hips, your back, or if you have medical conditions such as stenosis. Lying over the Pilates Mini Max releases the tension in your hips and back and also gives you space in order to lift your spine to neutral. So for example, if you pretend like this is the Pilates Mini Max and this is you lying over the Pilates Mini Max, you're able to lift your spine to the height of the Pilates Mini Max, which is neutral spine. Whereas if you're lying flat on the mat, your spine is already very close to being a neutral, so any lifting is going to put you into backward bending. So this is especially important if you have spinal stenosis, where any kind of backward bending can actually increase pain. With that said, and especially if you have spinal stenosis, speak to your doctor and make sure if he's A-OK -okay with you doing this type of exercise. And keep in mind, exercise should never increase pain, so if you have pain, please stop and seek medical attention. Specifically for this workout, you're going to need a towel roll and you may need some shoes because we'll be weight bearing through your feet. I'm actually going to go without shoes. Um, and then also make sure you understand the basic Pilates concepts of breathing to activate deep core posture and spine position, which has gone over in a separate video on this YouTube channel called Basic Pilates Concepts. All right, let's go ahead and get started. We're going to get that Pilates Mini Max over to the mat. We're going to want to do that with good body mechanics. So you're going to go into your lunge position nice and strong. Put that tip of the Pilates Mini Max down, keep your spine straight, and then just let the Pilates Mini Max fall to the floor. We're going to need that towel roll, so we're just going to drop that down to the ground here also. So we're going to stay in our nice lunge position. We're going to come down on one knee. If your balance is off, you could have a chair or a sofa off to your side to help you with your balance. And then we're going to come down onto the other knee. So for this workout, we're going to need uh, the straps with the handle, so we're going to pull those out now. And we're also going to shorten the handles by taking that band and rolling it over until there's about three to four inches from the Pilates Mini Max to the handle. We'll do that on the other side because we'll need that for later. Good stuff. All right, so here we go. We're going to lay over the Pilates Mini Max. We're going to ground through our toes there. We're going to set our shoulders away from our ears, draw our stomach in as if the Pilates Mini Max feels hot to us. If this is a big problem for you with your feet, go ahead and drop your knees down. But it's better if you can keep those legs up. Okay, here we go. We're going to start off with arm lift. Inhale through your nose, expand your ribs. Exhale as you reach one arm out in front of you. Inhale as you return. Exhale. Stretch that arm away from your shoulder. Inhale as you return. Lift that arm, but make sure you're not taking that shoulder up towards your ear and bring it back down. Exhale, stretch. Be firm through your legs. Now, if you want more challenge, lift the opposite leg as you raise that arm. And exhale, stretch. Feel that strength crisscross from the one shoulder to the opposite leg. Crisscrossing strength across your low back. Now focus on spinal elongation. So reach your head away from your tail and reach your hand away from your foot. So we're really working for a long position, long streamlined body. Excellent. And stretch. Stay steady in your back as you lift your arm and your leg. Excellent. 
Now we're going to get ready for tricep extension. So we're going to take those handles. We might have to micro adjust back. Once again, ground through your feet if you're able to. Lift your spine to neutral. If this is uncomfortable, you could be a little bit lower. We're going to isometrically maintain this position as we extend those arms. And extend. Now pause as you extend and reach your head away from your feet. Feel that length. You're working for a long body line as you get stronger through your triceps and also stronger through your back muscles. Now if you're able to, you could extend your spine with the extension of your arms. Try to really lift the spine with your mid-back muscles so you have that sense of pressing your breastbone out of your chest. Lengthen, pause, feel that strength. If this does not feel good, go back to your neutral. Maintain that but still have that sense of length. Reaching your head away from your toes and lengthening those arms to straight. Great, let's just have one more here. Nice, so now we're gonna go ahead and get ready for the bird dog. So you're gonna position your elbows on top of the plies mini max, make sure that they're not too close to the edge. Set your shoulders away from your ears. Draw your stomach in, gaze is at your forearms. Inhale to prepare, exhale as you extend warm arm up. Inhale, return. Exhale, the other arm. Inhale, return. Exhale and inhale. Exhale and inhale. Pretend like you're balancing something on the small of your back and you don't want to spill a drop. Now you can make it harder by lifting the opposite leg. Once again, move with caution, as if you don't want to spill that cup of coffee that's balanced on your back. So it's not about the big movement, it's about those smaller stabilizers. So focus on the balance. Keep pretending like you have that coffee cup on your back. You don't want to spill a drop on you. Stomach is drawn in. Keep your shoulders away from your ears. So that would look crowded like that. You want to keep them set away, stomach in. Great. So now we're going to get ready for the breaststroke. So that's just like in the pool. You're going to come up onto your knees. If this is uncomfortable for you, you could stand up. We're going to exhale as your arms go to straight. Inhale as you press your arms down and lift your chest. You could keep this exercise in neutral, so be exhale up. Circle those arms and just hold it there. So now we're going to take it with resistance. For this exercise, you may have to increase the resistance, so you're just going to pull that band there, draw it tight, and also on the other side. This exercise, you'll have resistance at certain times. Just make sure it feels good for your shoulders. And here we go. We're going to go ahead and lay down. Get your balance point. We're going to have your arms bent to your side. Inhale to prepare. Exhale, press your arms out and circle around. Exhale. So you're isometrically holding your body in neutral. Now if you can, go ahead and add extension. So it's exhale, inhale, lift. Exhale, inhale, lift. Keep it going. Feel like you're in that pool. You're pushing long and strong through that water and you're lifting. Press all the way back towards your hips. Nice. Be long and strong and reach back. Press it and back. One more time. Excellent. So now we're going to get ready for the swan. So you're going to need your towel roll here. You're going to place your head down on that towel roll. Arms are at your side. Inhale as you lengthen your spine to neutral. Strong legs reach your head away from your feet. Lower down. Now if you're able to lift up higher, try to lengthen your head and your chest away from your feet and lower down. If that felt good, go even higher. Inhale, lengthening head and chest, straightening your knees. Press your breastbone right out of your chest and then come back down. Two more. Inhale, lengthen to whatever height feels good for you. Extending that spine. And back down. One more time. And lengthen. 
Very good. Awesome, we're going to finish with a shell stretch. So I'm just going to push the Ply's Mini Max in front. I'm going to put my hands right on top. I'm going to push myself further back and I'm going to stretch back. So you're going to need a, a fair amount of shoulder flexibility here to do it in this position. Inhale, expand your rib cage. Exhale, release further back. If this does not feel good for you, just put your hands down. Inhale, breathe into those ribs. Exhale, release further back, bringing your head further down. Keep your spine straight, reach your tail away. Exhale. Wonderful. Well, that's it for the Pilates Mini Max Osteo Back Blast. I hope you had a good workout. You should feel stronger in your back and have better posture. Keep it up throughout the whole day. Thanks a lot. Have a great day.